Signal is back with another gadget teardown. Today we pulled apart Sony's RX10, and before we take a peek at the inside components of the camera, let's first go through the outside. At the top of the camera and near the grip is the Wi-Fi antenna. The material around this portion of the camera is covered in rubber to avoid any conflict with the magnesium alloy body and Wi-Fi signal. Moving along the side of the camera, you'll notice all of the ports, including a jack for your headphones and an external microphone, along with USB and HDMI ports. At the top of the body is an OLED TrueFinder, which houses four dual-sided aspherical lenses to provide a 33-degree view angle and to avoid any distortion around the edges of the viewer. The camera requires a total of 30 screws around the magnesium alloy shell. Magnesium alloy is the material you'd find on many smartphones, plus it's a common material in trains and race car wheels. Starting from the back of the camera, the tiltable LCD screen is attached to the body by a central hinge. The new Bion's X-Image processor is an individual chip and is located in the motherboard of the RX10. The motherboard is insulated and then protected by a copper heat protector. This piece is unique to Sony and built in-house, so the only way to get your hands on this chip is if you tear open one of the new Sony cameras, and we don't really recommend that. There are three separate pieces that make up the Carl Zeiss Vario Sonar T lens barrel that's built into the RX10. Along the side are grooves for aperture and zoom adjustment, and there's a small piece inside the lens allowing one to turn off the click sound when adjusting and shooting video simultaneously. By sliding the switch on the lens ring, it's mechanically controlled to change the level of friction created. The image sensor, as you know, is a 20 megapixel, 1 inch Exmor R CMOS sensor producing raw images at 14 bit or JPEG format at 8-bit. The data is sent to the memory card slot located away from the motherboard at the bottom of the camera. There's a cable that transports this data from the image sensor to the memory card and washers on the Exmor R CMOS sensor to keep it in place. The piezoelectric device, basically a supersonic motor, moves 50,000 times per second and drives the autofocus system of the RX10. The Carl Zeiss Vario Sonar T lens itself is comprised of 14 different elements in various sizes, shapes, and coatings. And that's a wrap, folks. It might take 30 screws to hold the RX10 camera together, but now you know what it takes to power this one on. You can check the camera out for yourself today or find more product first looks and teardowns at youtube.com signal. Until next time, see you later.